excuse the messy hair. I usually don't care, but it's like especially messy, frizzy today. Good morning, guys. The idea that I had yesterday was to dig a hole. So I started digging a hole and I finished it like, I, I, I would like to say that I did a decent job. My missus doesn't think it was a lot of sand, but that was a lot of work. found out that the uh, sleepers here, the old train sleepers that hold up the rest of our garden now they go through the wall. They've just built the wall around it. But I have a super awesome, fantastic idea for this area. Not, uh, not in the maybe a year or two away for this plan, but um, yeah dig out all of this sand down here. I think that might be the plan. I'm gonna go off to work and I will see you guys after work. So we've been home for quite a while. The, uh, my day was incredibly short at work today, but I've just been gardening and I thought um, I'll do some stuff by hand instead of waiting for the bobcat. But anyway, I got a call out for a bobtail that I think has most probably been attacked by a dog. Um, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's only around the corner, so we're off to go pick up that guy, see whether or not we can take him to a vet, or um, if he's too bad, take him to a after hours vet and get him put to sleep. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's not as bad as it sounded, and we'll be all good. I'll see you guys in a second. So unfortunately, the guy that I usually see about the reptiles at the vet that I went to isn't there. I haven't found anyone close. And unfortunately, the next vet that I've managed to find that'll take reptiles is 15 minutes away. So this turned from a five minute trip into probably a well over two hour adventure. So I really hope that I don't take him there and they just suggest to put her down straight away because um, That'll be a bit disappointing. Uh, and this is where the hard part comes in, is whether or not to treat them without taking them to somebody that's most likely going to put them down because if vets are busy, I understand it. I know some vets are busy and um, the time efficient way to deal with these things if they look this bad is to just write them off. I know it sounds bad, but... Um, that's just how it is. So, yeah, it's hard and I completely understand it if they don't want to put in the time. It's not that they don't care about them or they don't want to help them. It just takes a lot. And that's why it is so important that people like Alan actually go out and they get their uh, certificate or license or whatever approval through somebody else's license to do rehabilitations because it takes time it takes money it takes it takes a lot like it, it, you know somebody that could fall into the pit of uh, I mean I make it sound real bad but I mean it can get bad I know that there, there's a few people that spend thousands of dollars a year to keep their uh, kangaroo rescues going or their joey rescues or the stuff that they don't I don't know the terms for them because I don't deal with kangaroos yet Maybe I will one day, who knows. Maybe I have a giant block of land and I'll have people that come and help me out fixing all kinds of animal problems, who knows. But it costs a lot of money. And you know, people like myself and a lot of other people around Perth that are put in the time to look after these animals, um, now they've just made it harder. And the reason why they made it harder is because there was a few people that just kept animals where they shouldn't have been keeping animals. 
and um, and then those animals end up passing away a very slow and painful death. So it really comes down to your professional opinion as a rehabilitator to choose whether or not to rehabilitate or not to rehabilitate. And it all basically falls on what is its quality of life after you rehabilitate it. Is it worth putting that animal through all of that for them to, you know, not be able to live very well after that? <clears throat> I'm not sure what the legalities are on keeping injured wildlife uh, as a person, not as like a, a rescue center or something. Um, Cause obviously I would much rather, you know, hand feed a lizard and give it a good quality of life for a couple of years, let it enjoy itself and fat out um, over just putting it down straight away and giving up on it. But again, it's, uh, it's a, whether or not you can give it a good quality of life and it's a hard thing. It's really hard to pick. So yeah, that's just me worrying about these guys telling me that they're going to want to put this guy down straight away. She's moving fine. Uh, the wounds look like they're not really fresh. They look like they're a day or two. Everything's dry. There is a few patches on her that are still wet, but I have a feeling that is because uh, the little dog that was at the house that I got it from uh, may have had a bit of a play with it and just open up some of the older wounds. The wounds look like they were from a much bigger dog, but I, I can't judge that because maybe the little dogs can do a lot of damage. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling um, and I'll get this thing to the vet. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. So the lady that I dropped it with um, seems pretty cool. She's actually a licensed rehabilitator through uh, uh, chittering something uh, another animal rescue place which means that she's gonna look after it not the vet so she will put a little bit more love into it and uh, all those comments I said before don't really come into play here because it's somebody that does it because they love animals and that they want to see them rehabilitated it doesn't really matter about the money that's spent on it so that makes me feel a little bit better but um, I've got to do a few things around the house and I emptied out our front garden and got an absolute butt ton of cactuses and um they really hurt so i'm going to continue doing that and uh see where the rest of my day ends up going so yeah that's unfortunate but hopefully it's a good ending to a sad story so yeah hopefully she'll let me know how it goes and then i'll let you guys know ended up having to have a change of plans and um one of my neighbors complained about some of the mess out the front of my house and I had to clean that up. So I didn't get too much done. We put some new exhaust fans in the house today. Um, the laundry is almost done. So the floor's done now and it's crowded. We had a group of people come out and look at building the wall out the front of our house, but we're not quite getting approved what we want to have approved. So yeah, today's been a bit full on. Um, yeah. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. I am exhausted. I've been digging and moving heavy stuff. So yeah. All right, guys, take it easy. Stay awesome. And remember, you can't fail if you try. See you later.